He is one of the longest serving mayors in Gull Lake's history and had an immense impact on the town's early history. William Robert Hutton was not one of the earliest settlers of the Gull Lake area, but he was certainly one of the most important. Born in England and settling in Mount Forest, Ontario at the age of two, he would move west at a very early age of 12 or 13 to Winnipeg in 1898, where he met his future wife. Working as a tinsmith and a professional lacrosse player. According to Hutton, years later, he had run away from home to find his fortune. Coming from Forget, Manitoba with his wife May and children John and Albert in 1913, upon arriving, William began managing Gull Lake Hardware. At first, the family lived over the Gull Lake Hardware store until a fire destroyed the building just before Christmas in 1915. The fire wiped out a large portion of Conrad Avenue including the Lyceum Theater, Morrow's Furniture, and Labor's Pool Hall. Soon after the fire, the family built a two-story house facing Farm Avenue on a double lot. With the money he had saved, Hutton also bought land and began homesteading in the Earview School District. The family had to live on the land for part of a year, so May would live there homesteading while the family lived in Gull Lake going to school and working for a time. Both William and May were very active in the community. Both held offices with the Oddfellows and Rebecca Lodge, as well as with the Curling Club. <clears throat> they were leaders in the church and attended many events in the community. William, for his part, would be incredibly active in the community. To 1942, he served as the fire chief for the town, and from 1926 to 1933, he was the mayor. During his time as mayor, the town purchased the 76 ranch house for $1,000, so it could serve as a hospital, a rink was built on the fairgrounds, and the Trans-Canada was graveled through town. He would pass away in 1942, May died in 1946.